All right, so if you have a legal problem, likely you're going to need a lawyer. But what if you can't afford one or you simply don't have access to one? This past spring, a new class of lawyers graduated from the University of Maine School of Law, but before earning their degree, some of them got real world experience through a program that's helping rural Mainers get access to legal help. Samantha York shows us how it all works. But do you think it's helpful for me to actually say, like, it's their last semester of law school, and instead of being in a classroom, Emma Pooler and Ryan Fowler have been here at the Rural Practice Clinic in Fort Kent. We mostly do a good amount of everything. We're a full service general practice clinic, so we do whatever a traditional attorney would do, except for uh, real estate. The clinic is the first of its kind for the University of Maine School of Law. Its goal is to bring more legal resources to communities that have been historically underserved, like Aristic County. While giving law students an opportunity to gain experience, they can't get from reading a textbook. Not that I disliked the academic setting and, you know, the, the readings and the exams, um, but I very much appreciate the interaction with the, um, the people that the need to help in trying to solve problems and preparing to go into a rural practice myself. I couldn't think of really a better way um, to prepare for, for my career. Being able to practice the law and actually work on real cases has been the most challenging and rewarding experience that I've had in law school. Emma has wanted to be an attorney since she was a little girl. Growing up in Fort Kent, she has seen firsthand how limited, affordable, and accessible legal services are in rural parts of the state. Practicing at the clinic has only amplified her passion to serve her community. How great is the need for services like this in Aristic County? Oh my God, the need is, it's huge. It's, uh, you know, I am helping a young woman right now that went to see attorneys as far as Holton to see if they could help her which is about two hours, two and a half hours away. And she was still not able to find someone that would take her case just because it was a complex case. If someone is waiting for a court appointed attorney, Emma and Ryan say they could be waiting for months, but that reality is part of a bigger problem. A report released by the Board of Overseers of the Bar in 2018 shows 51% of attorneys in Maine practice or reside in one county. Cumberland. Cumberland County has just as many lawyers as um, the rest of the state. There's a huge need in the state of Maine for attorneys, especially just because we only have one law school and there's probably like 80 kids or students that graduate a year and we need probably 80 attorneys just in rural Maine. There is a desperate need for attorneys in the Rim Counties and, and, you know, most places outside of Cumberland County. Chris Northrup is the co-director of clinical programs at the University of Maine School of Law. He says the rural practice clinic has been 10 years in the making and that the need for public and private defenders around the state has only grown in that time. There is a shortage of, of, of attorneys and if we can get our students out there, if we can get them integrated into the communities and get them connected, they're far more likely to settle and practice there. While Ryan plans to take over a practice in the Carolinas, Emma says she wants to continue representing people in her hometown and surrounding communities. They both say the clinic is not only serving a vulnerable population, but the next generation of attorneys. I think caring about clinics like this just promotes the greater good of the, the community as a whole. Um, it, it can bring people out of a place where they might not have thought they, that they could get out of uh, with some support from some quality student attorneys. And this has been the best experience that I've had in law school so far. So I hope that lots of other students take advantage of it as well. That was Samantha York reporting. The university is hoping to eventually expand the rural practice clinic to other counties in need across the state. Any student with more than a year and a half of schooling under their belt is eligible to apply.